correctly. Today, we will talk about the area of a circle. In the past videos, we discussed about area of other plane figures such as the rectangle, square, and triangle. In the end screen, you'll find the link to these videos if you want to check them out. You'll notice that to solve for area of these plane figures, most likely it's very similar to the concept of finding the area of a circle. So hang on till the end of this video. Let's have a quick review. What do you mean by area? When we talk of area, we are referring to the space occupied by a flat shape. We can also say that it is the surface of an object and it is measured in square units. Centimeter, meter, and kilometer, these are just some examples of what we call units. And when we say square units, this means they are being used twice. That's why you see the exponent 2. And this can be read as square centimeters, square meters, and square kilometers. To be able to calculate the area of a circle, we must first understand some of its important parts and properties. The distance around the circle is called the circumference. Any edge in the circumference shares equal distance from the center. From the center to any point on the circumference is what we call the radius. The line segment that passes through the center and whose endpoints lie on the circle is called the diameter. The diameter is twice or two times the radius. If the radius is 4 meters, Double this number means diameter is 8. Therefore, the radius is only half of the diameter. Radius equals diameter divided by 2. Previously, we also learned that to find the circumference, we need the pi times the diameter, in which we use the approximate value of pi as 3.14. However, to calculate for the area, we need pi times r squared. r squared means you multiply the quantity by itself. This can also be expressed as r times r. Obviously, you know that r means the radius, which can be represented by any number. Like in this example, the radius is 4 meters, and so, if we square the radius, it would be 4 meters times 4 meters. And to clearly understand the concept of finding the area of a circle, let's try another illustration. Take a look at this circle with a radius of 5 centimeters. If we have to find the area, we would go with the formula area equals pi r squared. But here is the struggle. Some students would think of r squared as r times 2, which is entirely different. r times 2 actually means you double the radius. So, if the radius is 5 centimeters times 2, you'll get 10. So, basically, if you double the radius, you'll get the diameter. On the other hand, r squared means you square the radius by multiplying the value by itself. So if the radius is 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters, we get 25 square centimeters. You see, the answers are totally different. So let's try solving the area of this circle in details. All we need to do is substitute the values as A for area equals pi times the radius, which is 5 centimeters squared. So area equals the value of pi, which is 3.14 times the product of 5 times 5, which is 25 square centimeters. Then finally, multiply 3.14 with 25. The final product would be 78.5 square centimeters. So the area of this circle is 78.5 square centimeters. Let's do a few more exercises. Find the area of a compact disc with a radius of 7 centimeters. 
Let's write down the formula as to area equals pi r squared. Let's substitute the values starting with the radius. Area equals pi times 7 centimeters squared. This would be 7 times 7, which is 49. Then area would be the value of pi, which is 3.14 times 49 square centimeters. And the product is 153.86. So there you have it. The area is equals to 153.86 square centimeters. But what if instead of the radius, the given measurement is the diameter, like this one? Find the area of a plate with a diameter of 26 centimeters. So just the same formula, area equals pi r squared. And since we need the radius, but the given is the diameter, we will only take half of this number. So if the diameter is 26 centimeters, therefore the radius is only 13 centimeters. Then substitute the values, area equals pi times 13 centimeters squared. It means 13 times 13, which is 169. So area equals 3.14 as the value of pi times 169. The product is 530.66. And so our final answer would be area equals 530.66 square centimeters. So there you have it. Please remember that area is measured in square units. So as you can see, there's two as the exponent because when you say area, we are actually working with a two-dimensional shape. I do hope that now you have a better understanding on how to find the area of a circle.